National Gun Violence Awareness Day, in case you didn't know, Never Again CA says the lives of 100 people are cut short every day by gun violence in the United States. And new tonight, gun sales are breaking records amid the pandemic and the nationwide protests. Fox 5 Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live at a gun store for us in El Cajon tonight. Jacqueline. Yeah, that's right, Phil. I spoke with a local gun expert who says there were more than 70,000 guns sold just within San Diego County in April. That's about a 500% increase from the month before. A majority of those sales were first time buyers. And I never really had an interest in buying shotguns until all this uh, started happening. And by all of this, Tony is referring to the protests and riots taking place within the county of San Diego. Some of them breaking out just down the street from his home in Santee. And uh, decided that uh, if it got out of hand, I wanted to make sure that I had some protection uh, for myself. Tony says he was in the military, but he's not really a gun guy. He explains it was seeing the recent unrest that motivated him to buy a shotgun. So I'm anxious, you know, the, these times are anxious in general. People are starting to uh, experience fear and realize that, that they have to take their safety and their protection uh, seriously, and then it's their responsibility. It's up to them to, to take care of themselves. They realize that police officers are extremely busy and they're not always available. And, you know, firearms are just a tool. Michael Schwartz is the executive director of San Diego County Gun Owners, a group that prides itself on educating people on the law, safety, and use of a firearm. He says gun sales spiked more than 80% last month nationwide. So much so that retailers, distributors, and manufacturers can't keep up. A statement one local gun store can attest to. We've had three of our top 10 sales days ever in the past four days. David Chong is the CEO of AO Sword Firearms in El Cajon. He's been selling a wide range of guns for seven years and says this week by far has been the largest rush in terms of people buying guns. These folks have seen downtowns burn in their own communities. They've seen the police not be able to respond to violence and arson uh, because they've been overwhelmed. That leaves just them as the last line of defense for their, for their families in their own homes. Never Again California, which is a grassroots organization that started after the 2018 mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, sent us the following statement about the increase in gun sales. The founder says, quote, we don't know the likely health outcomes of three months of isolation like undiagnosed cancers. We do know the outcome of more deaths or of an extra million guns in the home. It will be more deaths from suicide, domestic violence and accidental shootings. Now, in honor of today being National Gun Violence Awareness Day, people were asked to wear the color orange because that's the color a lot of hunters wear when they go out shooting in order to protect themselves from being shot. Reporting live in El Cajon, Jacqueline Turkesian, Fox 5 News.